नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स सी बी एस ई इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी फोर जीरो टू आवर सीरीज इज गोइंग ऑन फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्प्रेडशीट एडवांस आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई सीरीज द लर्निंग आउटकम इज क्रिएट एंड यूज मैक्रोज इन स्प्रेडशीट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर एक्सेस सेल्स डायरेक्टली टॉपिक फ्रॉम मैक्रो हाउ यू कैन एक्सेस द सेल्स डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम मैक्रो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो I would like to recommend that you should watch two videos for macros which I have uploaded earlier. In first video, I have covered that how to create macro using formatting. In second, I have covered how to create macro using function. So there, I have used some functions and I have covered this topic also. Write macros that act like built-in functions. in that video so that video you will get in i button as well as i will provide you the link in description for the complete playlist of this particular electronic spreadsheet advanced unit okay so let we begin this video so in this video we are going to cover excel cells directly how you can access cells directly from visual basic code now see whenever we are thinking about visual basic so vba macro it is one thing that provides you the customization and the customization means you can create your own software also whatever we are thinking whatever we want to implement you can do by using visual basic macro okay vba code so this vba code is strong like that and for that you have to learn so many things so many programming concepts you have to learn in the sense we can say you have to get familiar with visual basic programming language then only you can do it properly but cbse has given this part in your curriculum so that i am going to explain at per my knowledge whatever i have and i am trying to explain you these things so let we begin today's topic or topic for this videos excel cells directly okay so first of all i have created one worksheet here this worksheet which is going to show you result for admission whether the student is eligible or not eligible for the result so in this c column it will display the result eligible or not eligible accordingly so that function we can use in macro and we can call it directly so simply as we are writing developer and then record macro then macro 1 whatever we are going to do here that we can do directly from that particular vba code also so how to write macro from vba that also i will show you so simply whenever you want to write this click on visual basic then you will get screen like this now in this screen click on insert and module so this module will be available now whatever macro name you want to give you just use subordinate subordinate is visual basic keyword sub that keyword is used to create subordinate that is powerful to do something in your vb visual basic code so in this code i am just going to display a result based on your value so if you want to access any cells directly from your worksheet to this particular vba code you have to use range range function so that we are going to use in this code so simply i am going to write chk underscore result this is my name chk underscore result macro name it is simply a macro name whatever macro name we are writing while recording this macro this can be written like this now in this subordinate i am going to display the result of this range so first of all we have to check out the range the range is starting from b2 to b7 so how we can access it directly let's have a look here first of all we have to use for loop it is one concept of programming language if you are going to use any sequential values or any sequential series then you have to use for loop so here i am writing for loop which is starting from which cell it is starting 2 so simply i am going to write 2 to 7 means last number is 7 so it will start from this 2 to 7 and in vb whenever you are using for loop it will end with 
next keyword you have to write this next keyword so in next step it will jump to the next row or next value we can say so for that you have to write here next in this manner only you remember otherwise this is programming concept you have good command over programming then you can understand easily but i am trying to explain you in a simple language and easy language so for this i equal to 2 that we are writing from where it is starting that we have stored in this i 2 to 7 so this values we are going to store in i it is similarly like that as you are keeping your ba uh, books in bag so bag is your variable and books are your values so similarly we have taken i here that is variable and 2 to 7 values are assigned to your variable i we can say it is container like container it is working like that now see after that what we have the result is according to the condition so condition means what we are going to check that if range if means what if your range should be greater than 80 percentage then the result will be eligible the student will be eligible we can say like that so for that we have to use if keyword if keyword is there in vb then write the range function as i told you range function so range function basically it requires this argument it is coming here in yellow color so range cell 1 cell 2 as a range so you have to provide value here so value we have already taken the series 2 to 7 so now we have to just point out the column names and our column name is b so that you have to write in double quotes and then whenever you want to join the values so now b2 should be there so b then m person we are using m person then i i means initially it is 2 then when it's go to the next means third row it should be b3 so here it is b then i means the value 2 3 4 5 6 like that dot value so that value we are going to access here so that value should be written value now the condition is greater than equal to 80 then keyword is there then whenever you are using use uh, using if you have to write then at last okay so here it is completed after that if will be end by end if keyword so that you have to write here end if similarly now when you complete end if just go inside if now what we are going to do if the condition is true means b and i suppose first value b2 greater than equal to 80 then we are going to type the value in c column so here again we have to use the range function range then again we are going to access the column c and i so this way it will access the cells directly value equal to now write whatever you want to write in that cell i want to write eligible you can write e or any whatever you feel eligible okay now if it is less than 80 then what happens so there you can write else the same thing but not eligible so let me copy this code copy then paste then here you can write not eligible so let me write not eligible so here our function is completed now let we are going to check this how the result is displayed just click on this and you will get this thing okay so this way you can display or you can access the cells directly from your vb code so i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today uh, rest thing i have already said it is vb code only that you have to learn anyhow so i am just trying to show you whatever skills i have if you have any doubt or if you want to learn completely about vb code basics about for loop and how it is working visual basic language i will teach you through videos so you just comment in comment section so i will provide you videos on visual basic language also thank you very much for watching this video and if you are coming to my channel first time and watching my video first time press the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon as well as if you are enjoying my videos watching my videos regularly and if you are not sharing please share it 
to with your friends so your friends can also learn so hit the like button share the video and comment your doubts so we will cover this topic in next video that is passing parameter or passing argument as a value in vba code till then keep watching keep learning